I tell you what, you guys, I really do love my animals here, and it's amazing how far things have come with them for so long, you guys. Like, take my girl Ariel here, my beautiful ghost corn snake. I've had her ever since she was just a baby, and now she's already about three foot long, but that's not the point of today's topic, though, you guys. Um, I'm going to be sharing, you guys, an incident that just recently occurred about nearly a week ago down in Florida, so, but... I think right now, for the first couple of minutes, I think I'm going to go ahead and spend a little quality time with my girl, Ariel. So roughly about a little over a week ago, um, down in, at the St. Augustine Alligator Farm, which is obviously recognized as one of the most popular like animal attractions down in the state, um, just recently, um, a couple of rare Galapagos tortoises were unfortunately were stolen and at this moment actually the zoological park um staff does not exactly know how they were stolen but since these two galapagos tortoises are like i believe the only ones they have in captivity um it's very very unfortunate that these tortoises were stolen and at the same time these are some people may not realize this, but Galapagos tortoises are one are the largest species of tortoise on the planet, where some individuals can weigh literally up to about 600 pounds, you guys. I mean, think about that. A 600-pound tortoise, that's, that's very, very heavy, you guys. That's not even a joke. These tortoises are massive, massive, massive tortoises, you guys. So, And the fact that the reason they call them the Galapagos tortoise is because they're found only on the Galapagos Island. So... And these species, you guys, are very critically an endangered species, by the way. So, a very rare species to come by, you guys. And believe it or not, Galapagos tortoises, they are not being sold in the pet, are not for sale in the pet trade either because of how rare they are. Now, the ones that were stolen out of the alligator farm down in St. Augustine, these guys were actually part, those two were actually part of a breeding program that was going on to help conservation and actually to reintroduce the population of more Galapagos tortoises. And with these tortoises now stolen, the staff is doing everything they can to look over the surveillance footage on exactly who might have done it and how they may have gotten into the pen. So there is a Facebook article about it, you guys. I'm going to leave it a link down in the description so you guys can find out more about it. And just hearing this news, you guys, it just literally makes me sick to my stomach because literally the this, this zoological park staff there has worked so hard to not only educate people about these amazing animals but also to help the population of these tortoises to help them reintroduce their numbers you guys to bring them back up and now that these two captive bred captive born excuse me captive born galapagoses have been stolen this is a huge issue you guys it's very very big issue and there's not a whole lot of them here in the united states that you'll see in zoos too often so um Obviously, they did notify law enforcement about it, so law enforcement is going to be on the on the prowl about it as well. So, um, hopefully, um, things go according to plan. Hopefully, these tortoises can be found very soon and safe before something horrible happens to them. Because at this current time of the year down in Florida, especially near the St. Augustine area, it's not that warm as it normally would be, you guys. Especially if it falls nighttime temperatures, they're really, really cool, you guys. And Galapagos tortoises, since they're from the Galapagos Island, which is very tropical, and rarely gets cool overnight on that island, these tortoises would not be able to handle these very cool temperatures at nighttime. So, whoever is responsible for taking these tortoises, they need to do the right thing and actually turn themselves in and give them back those tortoises. That's really what they need to be doing, whoever the culprits are. So, and like I said, you guys, this just, it makes me pretty frustrated that somebody would be that dumb to go in there, steal something extremely rare, but also a very protected species, and think that, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and just go in there and take it for myself. It, it's There's just so many people out there that think that they're so cool about it, they think they got, they think they can have everything they want. That's not the case, you guys. So, again, I do am going to leave the Facebook link about it in the description from the St. Augustine Zoological Park's Facebook page. Um, go ahead and just show them as much love as you can, you guys. And hopefully we can help them uh, figure out where these tortoises are at. Because, obviously, right now there's not a whole lot of new updates at this moment. But prayers and hopefully um, something will come up here very soon. And hopefully it will be positive, everybody. So... Um, I just wanted to share with that moment with you guys and because obviously I have it's not the first time some reptiles down in Florida have been stolen before on a farm or at a park so 
All of you guys may you guys may recall about Tom Crutchfield, some of his animals were at one point stolen by somebody down there about a year, two, one or two years ago, and eventually the culprit was apprehended, and the, most of the animals were found alive and healthy, which is good, but at the same time, it's doing like this, you guys, is a serious crime. It's a very serious crime. So, I don't know, this just gets me frustrated, so. With that being said, you guys, just go ahead and show some love to the St. Augustine Zoological Park, you guys. Again, link is going to be in the description, everyone, so uh, hopefully we have a good outcome of this. So, this this is just really a terrible incident that occurred, everybody, and hopefully that, like I said, hopefully these tortoises actually can be found safely here soon, in, um, in a short time. Um, and I can feel like what some of these people are probably going through, you know, because now if somebody, like, broke into my home here and tried to steal some of my animals, like my girl Lucy, for example, um, or like my girl Sprinkle Cheese, or Ariel, you guys, it, it would really, very, really would hurt me, you guys. It seriously would break my heart. And it would, it would just, I'd be filled with just mixed emotions, whether if I was angry, upset, depressed, you know, because really, these animals, I have t for years, I have taken care of them, you know, and to think that somebody think it would be okay to try and sneak in and take something from me that's personal to me, it would really just, I wouldn't, I almost feel like I wouldn't know what to do, you know, but the point is, is that there's always saying things like saying you don't take things that don't belong to you, even though some people out there in the world never learn that no matter what. Um, it just really would hurt. It really hurts me, you guys. It just doesn't doesn't hurt me, you guys. This just doesn't hurt the the staff at that same, at the alligator farm. This hurts the entire reptile community as well because there's literally so many other people in this in this community that also work so hard to educate people about these amazing animals and also working with conservation officials to help re to save their species, some certain species, you guys, and. It's just unbelievable that there are some people out there that think that it's okay to go ahead and take something that doesn't belong to them and say, I'm going to keep it for myself. You know, if I, if nobody can have it, then I'm going to go ahead and take it, you know. That's just not how it works whatsoever. So, and it just really ticks me off everyone, so, but hopefully, like I said, you guys, hopefully these tortoises can be found safely here very soon, so. I, 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 don't, I don't know you guys I mean here in Michigan I mean I wish there was something I could do but like I said the link to the story is gonna be in the description everybody so but uh, go ahead and share your thoughts and love to the staff there at the alligator farm so and hopefully like I said these tortoises can be found very safe and sound here within hopefully in just a few more days you guys so uh, again to the staff there at this at the farm I am very very sorry to hear this happen to you guys Man, oh man, my girl Ellie actually looks really good after just coming out of the shed, everybody. I mean, just look at that beautiful, like, pattern on her, you guys. I mean, there's just something about reptiles, especially when it comes to snakes. Like, once they completely come out of shed within the first several hours of afterward there that the iridescence in their scales is just absolutely amazing like how it like shimmers from the lighting you know and it's just awesome and of course obviously she knows that I'm here hi girl how are you you doing good but nonetheless though she's just absolutely pretty looking now and to tell you the truth um this girl she's still growing for sure you guys and it's crazy like I said I've had her now for almost five years and I don't know what to say, you guys. She's just amazing. So, but let me know in the comments below and tell me what you guys think about her. Do you think she looks really pretty looking? Um, but yeah, go ahead and just show her some love, you guys, in the comments. Just do that for me, will you? So, but regardless, though, she's just absolutely an angel here, you guys. And look at that. She's coming up to say hi. Hi there. You coming to say hi to everybody on camera? And as you guys can see too, the enclosure is really decorative too, you guys. I added like a real life plant in here not too long ago, you guys probably seen. She's got her little hide tucked in there as well, her little cave. Got her water bowl, her branch, her fake plant that she likes to climb up on. And I actually added some more of that reptile prime cocoa bedding in her enclosure, you guys, because, well, because it works real good, you everybody. So, but yeah, shout out to Brian for actually making this product possible, you guys. Um, Agoros, of course, you know my girl Ariel. She's using it. Same product, same for Lucy. Every too. So, um, 
I think I might eventually one of these days maybe switch it all my animals to cocoa fiber bedding um, but tell me what your guys thoughts are in the comments below if I should do that so but nonetheless though I really really enjoy my girls enclosure so I'm just gonna go ahead and sit here and just admire the gorgeous view of it so so don't mind don't mind me girl I'll just keep here and keep and keep my eye I guess you guys just noticed there that me and my mom just finished decorating some Christmas cookies since Christmas is only just a couple weeks away from now. And I'm not gonna lie to you, it's hard to believe that 2022 is almost over here, everyone. So I think maybe for next week, maybe the day after Christmas, I think I'm gonna do a recap of what we went through this year for 2022, you guys. Maybe or maybe not, I don't know. But regardless, so I'm just gonna go ahead and end this video for the night, everyone. So make sure to smash that like button if you guys haven't. And if you guys are new to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button for me you guys and uh feel free to share this video too on social media facebook twitter instagram or tiktok on um, whatever social media platform you guys prefer so i'll see y'all in the next one